In this video, we're going to introduce a third method that can be used to solve a system of equations. When solving a system of equations, we are looking for the x and y pair that works to make both of these equations true at the same time. In general, there is only one combination that does this. One way we can find a solution was by graphing, but this was inconvenient if the numbers got large or if the solution was a decimal or fraction. A second method was to solve by substitution, but by virtue of the fractions, this is inconvenient if there's no lone variables. This problem is an example of such a problem. We have 3x minus 4y equals 8, and 5x plus 4y equals negative 24. With no lone variable, we need a third method. The idea of a third method is because the left side of the equation is the same as the right side, we can combine the left sides together and combine the right sides together, and we will still have an equivalent result once that is done. In this problem, the advantage comes from the fact that negative 4y and positive 4y are opposites. Let's combine or add these equations together to see what happens with that positive y and negative y. Sorry, 4y and negative 4y. When we combine the 3x's together, or the x's, 3x plus 5x, we get 8x. Negative 4y and positive 4y are opposites, and they'll subtract out to a 0. The equal sign stays in place, and we have 8 and negative 24, which subtract to negative 16. We now have an equation, 8x equals negative 16, that is quite simple to solve by dividing both sides by 8. We get x is equal to negative 2. We know what our x value is. We still need to find our y value, and it will take a little more work, though not difficult, and that is to go back to one of the original equations, it doesn't matter which, and replace our x into the equation and solve for y. Let's do that in the first equation, for no other reason than the numbers are a bit smaller. 3x, we just found out, x was negative 2, minus 4y equals 8. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, minus 4y equals 8. If we add 6 to both sides, we get negative 4y equals 14, and dividing both sides by negative 4 tells us that y is equal to negative 7 halves. We now know what the x-y combination is where these two lines will intersect. They will intersect when x is negative 2 and y is negative 7 halves. We found this solution by combining the left and right sides of the equations together because the y's had opposites and were able to subtract out completely. The idea of this elimination by addition method is to subtract out completely one of the variables and then solve for the remaining variable.